Hello everybody, this is Golden Foxman, or some of you know me as uh, Francisco the Fox, and I'm here today to show you how to make a mini chapel. Now when I say mini chapel, it is sort of small, but sort of big. Truthfully, I don't know what to say about it much. Um, but first, we want to start with the foundation. What I'm planning to do for this video is break it up into pieces, like this is what you do, and I'm only going to record, you know, um, important parts of it if I have to do something really important, critical. Um, but first, this is uh, 28 blocks long and 15 blocks wide, and we have this little area right here for the uh, for the entrance. I I think I might actually extend that a little because uh, you know, breathing room is nice. But yeah, we extend that, um, and that is our first part. Now I'm going to put up the walls, and I will see you in a second. All right, now look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, it's nine up. Let me recount, make sure I'm not screwing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, and this little entrance part is gonna be four high, you know, because uh, you wanna have headroom so you can jump and everything. And, but don't worry, these walls are not gonna not have windows. You'll be seeing those windows in a second. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. A lot of windows. Because why wouldn't you want to see God's glorious creation, you know? Well, the layout for the windows is pretty much, um... It's pretty, um, pretty symmetric. You have, uh, two space right here, and then the windows go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They go down seven blocks. Separated by this one, this one goes down for one, two, three, four, five, five over the doorway. And then this one is symmetrical to that one. This one is pretty self-explanatory too, it's pretty much in the middle, uh, symmetrical. <laughs> and these, these go down one, two, three, four, five, six. These go down six, they start from the second to the top, so you know, you can look out of them without having to jump up. Um, and they uh, stop too short from reaching the top, and they are one apart. That is symmetrical to that side. Now, before I go on and build the roof, I'm going to start inputting the pews, the altar, and then what is probably going to be the tabernacle, if it'll look like one. <laughs> um, and then um, and then we do the roof. And of course I'm going to light it up as we go on, and uh, if I miss anything, I'm sorry. But first I'd like to explain the pew, so I'm just going to uh, fly over here. Hopefully it renders. Yeah, this is my this is my farm, barn, farm barn house. This is my TNT launcher, my house. It's a lot of stuff over here. I'm going to make a video about that later. But, uh, this is where I do all my little experiments, like table, table, redstone, redstone, table, fuse. Okay, so what it's going to be, is that this is going to be ground level right here. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the floor. These are going to be the pews right here. You're going to sit, you're going to, well, you can't sit in Minecraft, sadly. But these are made out of wooden chairs, and, no, <laughs> wooden chairs, wooden stairs, and a sign on it. Now, from the, oh, i got to clear the weather. weather. Oh, <laughs> derp. But, um, it's gonna lag for a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, this is the ground level right here. This is where you're gonna be standing, st st um, be, so, like, if you're standing in the congregation, this is what it's gonna look like. That's your regular view. If you could sit down, this is, this is pretty much for show. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to stand the whole mess, but I probably would if I put my mind to it. And this is where, um, the kneelers are. So, you know, when they say I'll kneel, you can't just do this, like, this is pretty ineffective. You could do this. They're half slabs. They make it look like you're just peeping out from over, but they do give a bit more, they do give a lot more effect than just this. By a lot. But these are wooden half slabs that go down, as you can see. And that is the basic layout for the pews. So without further ado, I will be back. Install the pews, install the carpet, I mean... Got a lot of stuff to do. It's gonna be worth it though. It's gonna be 100% worth it because we're building God's house in Minecraft. I'll see you once I install everything. Well, not everything, but uh, once I'm done with the pews, yeah. All right, our pews are installed. <clears throat> and um, well, I started when it gets the blueprints because I have a I have a reference sheet. Like I graph out everything I build, and uh, I sort of thought, you know, it look a bit uh, odd. <clears throat> If, you know, there's nothing right here and you just be like, you know, pretty much sinking right here. 
So I put some wet up right here. I'm just going to have to reduce the distance from the tabernacle, but it's all going to be good. So um, it's pretty much just like I showed you over there at my uh, little place where I do the, where I test all my stuff. Basically what it is is just, uh, it's, it's the same thing. Um, this is the aisle. I'm going to put carpet in here. Um, and the altar and the tabernacle, of course, will go in the front of the church. And uh, next, I believe, I will do the altar. And the altar, I believe, yeah, the altar is very special. And without further ado, I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, I'm now done with the altar. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty simple. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's sort of small. Um, I probably should have made this longer, but I can't really tear it down now. <laughs> but um, I'm going to make the uh, altar, which is going to be, you know, one of the simple... Uh, what altars to give thanks on, you know? Um, so we're going to put pressure plates like right here. Close enough. It, it's a thought, well, it's not just a thought that counts. It, it looks nice, I believe. So uh, we're, we're going to want to give um, the priest and the deacon and maybe even the altar servers chairs. So uh, we're going to have... Mm, that's the only setback. <laughs> Don't go too near it, and you're going to hear clicking. So we're going to have the priest's chair. Right? Well, actually, you can't do that due to the signs. But we have the priest's chair and the deacon's chair. And we do not want the sign there. <laughs> but we put that sh we put that right there. That right there. That right there. That right there. And you want to, how about we put some right here for the altar servers, yeah, that was an altar server, so, they deserve, they deserve chairs, yeah. Even though it's a bit off to the side, uh, I hate to say, it's still the thought, it can't, can't say that, that's not an excuse. But, we're just about to finish up this, and then we move on to the tabernacle, and then the roof, and then anything else I missed touching on. All right, this is the uh, this is the tabernacle we have here. It's um, nothing too big, but it's something really nice. Now, um, this is supposed to represent the blood of Christ. Um, I have an alchemy stand, and the potions are instant health. And this, of course, is the body of Christ. And even and I know uh, you can't cook bread in a furnace, but it makes more sense, you know. You need to cook bread in a you know somewhere in a one of these furnace oven, whatever you want to call it. Um, to get bread, and you know, this is full of bread. Also made a few adjustments um, up here. I put flowers down, make it look a lot nicer. And you know, this these little areas right here are small storage units, and this could be like, you know, portable baptismal font storage. And I put some windows up so uh, we can see all around us. That wasn't all around, that was more like a fail 360, but it looks nice, it looks nice. Now the next part, I think it's time we move on to the roof. Well, actually, first I want to roof this little part right here. Oh yeah, and the doors. Well, I'll get you all back once I'm done with that. All right, so now really quickly with this part, <clears throat> um, what this is, you know, we have uh, stone brick stairs right here uh, doing the covering, and that isn't all. This is actually the co the roof. This is the, the decorative roof, I would call it, the second layer. These are the switches that control the doors, you know, you, you can use it from the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter which. This is just usually to keep the zombies out if you're going to play on survival. Um, these are the doors leading into the chapel. They see I haven't finished the roof yet, that'll be done uh, pretty soon, and the weather always loves to act up. But, um, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think it looks nice so far. And um, next, we're going to get started on the on the roof. So I'll see y'all then. All right, just a quick note before I move on. This is going to be um, there are not going to be stairs going up this way. It's not going to be a pointed tip. It's not going to be a four pointed tip, but a uh, two pointed tip. Sort of like if you look at it from this view, it's a pretty much a two D triangle um, as opposed to a three D triangle. So I just would like to note that before continuing. Oh yeah, and also. <laughs> Um, when we when I build I pretty much do it um, this way where uh, you know you just add the stairs right next to each other like this and then uh, it just keeps on progressing up so that's uh, something noteworthy as well. I think I'm done. Now I say this because I did the roof and the interior and I probably put just, I probably should have put some glowstone up here. Uh, mm, 
I forget about it. But uh, I think I've finished the roof. It's made out of the um, the stone brick stairs, and it, I must say it looks rather beautiful. Um, yeah, it's um, how many layers high it is. This is the um, this is on top of the original um, on top of the original one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and then there's the half slabs at the top, which means it's pretty much eight layers total. Um, what the cross is on is a regular block, um, right there. There is glowstone right here, so this is um, this is where we stopped, and then this is where the roof begins. So it's um, two up from these glass panes. You do the glowstone cross to make it look nice. Um, what else am I missing? Well, I have to do with the interior as well. I have to explain that. Uh, this is um, the windows. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory right there. It's uh, pretty much two bricks downsized. So um, these are the stick. Well, more than it's around three blocks. Yeah, one, two. <laughs> Oh, uh, why am I confusing myself? But yeah, it's pretty much three blocks down size. Um, glass panes, I use glass panes because I think it looks nice. Um, now into the chapel. I'm going to have to explain a lot of lighting. Um, the first aspect of lighting is this piece of glowstone right here. Nothing too fancy, just in the roof. Now the second is all of the lighting around here. I did a ridiculous amount of lighting. Yeah, I don't need that. But it's ridiculous because of how bright this has to be because I don't want mobs to spawn. Like, I put glowstone everywhere. Like, right in the, like, facing towards the center of the altar. Um, I should probably put some glowstone down right here. That'd look nice. Um, glowstone in the, in the middle of the aisles. Um, glowstone to the, um, what I call the uneven sides, uh, where you step on as a, as opposed to the stairs or the slab. Um, skipping every other piece of white wool right here. And um, a lot in the ceiling. Now uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight down from the roof to get it to that desired level. Uh, make it look really nice. Um, I think that's all there is to it. Well, we have the lighting, we did the roof, we did the walls, we did the windows, we did the pews, we did the altar, we did the tabernacle. We did a lot of things with this. Oh, I also put up the torches, you know, as respective candles. Um, but that, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, I don't care. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps anybody who's building it. To all those who are Catholic Christians, stay, fa stay faithful. To all those who are furry, stay furry. And to all those, everybody else, good night. Well, I'm making this video a night. Have a good rest of the day or night, wherever you are. I don't care. Just have a good day or night. And I will see you in my next video, which I still don't know what it is. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.